today, my friends, we are going red. Do you guys see this beautiful, vibrant red color? I mean, this is so vibrant. It's nice. If you look at it really closely, it looks professionally done. So I showed you guys the other day my strawberry blonde hair from West Kiss. Most of you seem to love that hair and a lot of you said to go red. So you're going to see how I use the watercolor method which is literally the easiest way to dye hair. Literally a five minute process. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. Don't forget to subscribe right now, right now. Please subscribe. We're almost at 100k. Videos going up every single day this month so you guys know that I am serious about getting to 100,000 this month. Also, I'm going to be showing you how I got these quick curls. You got 5 minute hair dye and then I also did 5 minute curls at the end. So if you're Jumping right into the tutorial, I just took this old container from the container store. Um, this is one of my son's for toy storage. I just went ahead and borrowed it for the purpose of this video. Some people will do it in a pot, but I didn't want to use my actual dishes. You can buy a separate pot, you know, to use or do whatever you do, but I'm just going to use this container. Um, I did pour a little bit of boiling water in there and then I just decided to do like um, really hot faucet water. Add your gloves, make sure you're protecting your skin and your nails, um, and then I'm going to use the Adore dye. I used two bottles. This one here is truly red, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. And then I also used Crimson Red. I picked these up from Amazon, and I will have them linked down below. Now, there is no um, measurement or ratio as far as how much water to use. Make sure you have enough water to, um, you know, submerge the entire wig. I could have used less than this. Also, the amount of hair dye or color that you use is based on your judgment if you want to use one container it may be a little bit lighter I kind of wanted to mix two colors and I see no purpose in kind of using half and half so I just used two full just based on my own you know desire and these are the color comparisons crimson on the left truly red on the right I feel like it came out a nice mix. It's very truly red in the fact that it's very bright and vibrant, but it also has like a nice sexy dim tone to it, if that makes any sense. Now I'm just taking a whisk, specifically what I used for only hair, and I'm just mixing the colors because though the color did spread very well on its own, you kind of found little, um, you know, streaks in there where the color was still like clumped together. Now there are two ways to test the color. You can take a piece of paper, like a napkin, and dip it in there and that's the color you'll get. And you see it's exactly the color that the hair turned out. Or you can take like a, le a leftover piece of the actual hair and dip it in there and just see what happens. I wanted to do that just to see, you know, how long I was going to have to leave it in, what color I was going to get. Um, this is not a 613 blonde, so I just wanted to make sure that the color was going to take and that I wasn't going to be wasting my time. And as you guys can see, I dipped it in instantly and received the color. So I kind of was doing this on Instagram. If you um, are on Instagram, be sure to follow me at Ashley B. Deck. Um, I like to do a lot of behind the scenes of my stuff there. So stuff that you don't see on YouTube is there. Also behind the scenes of stuff that you do see on YouTube is there. Bonus stuff. Everything is over there. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram. Now I went ahead and submerged like half of the hair just to see if I dipped it and pulled it out. Will it take like the test piece? It definitely did. So I proceeded to submerge the entire wig. I kind of left it in there for like two minutes. I just was really nervous about um, the color not distributing completely through. I kind of felt like I wanted to make sure the entire lace, all of the tracks like in between dispersed the color evenly. So I was kind of using my fingers to kind of work the product through. I also tried to go ahead and detangle the hair hoping that that would help to disperse the product. Honestly, I didn't need to and detangling would have just been a mess. I started to try it and it was like, what? This is not going to work. So I left it in there again for about two minutes and then I went straight directly over to my sink. About lukewarm luke water, I went ahead and began to rinse the color out thoroughly. And this is the color. What I like about doing the watercolor method is that, oh, and I'm using the um, Trust and Moisturizing Conditioner as a way to um, disperse moisture back in the hair and also to rinse out any excess product. I didn't necessarily feel like I needed shampoo. If you do use shampoo, I would use a shampoo specifically for color. And if you don't have one, just use something for moisturizing and you'll be good to go. Okay, so it's been a few hours since I went ahead and dyed the wig. Can you guys see this? I feel like I would have not done this amazing 
and dyeing the hair had I done it like painting the hair on like I feel like when I do my own thing and I kind of just paint the hair dye on it never comes out this flawless just because I always have my kids with me I'm always sidetracked I'm always in a rush so I always it just never comes out this amazing this even this beautiful even with the inside of the wig I'm still puzzled because you guys see I submerged the entire wig into the bucket of color and how did the cap not bleach I feel like if I would have painted it the cap definitely would have bleached the elastic band I mean you can see it a little bit but I expected the entire thing to be completely red and that would have been fine too I'm just so confused on how like what kind of witchcraft sorcery is this on you can also see that it still has some nice wavy texture it did not lose any bit of the texture at all okay back into slow-mo mode i'm using my beautiful holy grail blow dryer i bought this blow dryer like maybe about almost 10 years ago um and i loved it it gets your natural hair so 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 smooth and blow dried um that one broke and i went ahead and tried like two or three different other blow dryers nothing that i've ever tried works as amazing as this one does I kind of want to try the Dyson. You guys know that big four hundred dollar um, blow dryer from that's in Sephora. I really, really, really want to try that one. So let me know if you guys would like to see a comparison between that one and like this one. So I went ahead and gave the hair a good blowout. Now I'm going to take a hot comb. Now this one is electric. A flat iron, or I'm sorry, a hot comb from the stove is the best, but it can burn the lace. This is just a little bit safer and a little bit more convenient. I find that when I really, really, really want my hair to look very salon done, this is just kind of one of those unnecessary but necessary steps where it's not required. Um, but I like to just kind of press out the hair. I also like to take and part out a little piece of hair from the lace and part it and section it and like push it back to cover the tracks and I like to press that in really 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 good so regardless of whatever my tracks are covered and there is hair there that's going to completely cover and I'm never ever going to have to worry about my tracks showing and then from there I kind of go ahead and work the rest of the lace for a minute I was going to do a top knot then I decided I wanted some big sexy curls so I'm just kind of flattening the hair um, in the direction that I wanted to go. Off camera I went ahead and flat ironed it with an actual flat iron or did I do that yet? I think I did. Yeah I flat ironed it off camera just to kind of make it a little bit more straight. Now we put the wig on and go ahead and bond it. You guys know my quick and easy way to do so is just using the Blast Free Spray. I apply it to the hairline exactly where I want the hair to sit. Clean it up, you know, to make sure that if it goes too far up or the, the product is dripping, I kind of clean that up and allow the um, product to kind of sit and dry on my head for about 20 to 30 seconds. And then I go ahead and put the lace on on top of that product and boom it's gonna hold and it's gonna act just like your ghost bond your bold hold your regular got to be glue gel it's a more temporary situation this is something that you can do every single day and it's not gonna pull out your hair it's not glued by any means it's just like a spritz you can also use spritz too now if you watched my tutorial on the star strawberry blonde hair you guys know I went ahead and plucked for life on this frontal and um Honestly, it seems like I should pluck a little bit more and the front does look a little bit more wiggy. So off camera, I'm going to go ahead and pluck more so like past the arches of my eyebrows towards my sideburns to make that part look a little bit more bald. I know that sounds really weird, but you kind of want it to look a little bit more natural and less wiggy. So that's the part that I'll do off camera. But because it was, you know, pretty much tweezed in the area where the parting is, I kind of was fine. Now I'm taking the same flat iron I used to flat iron the hair and I'm just doing some backwards curls on the hair. These are like my famous five minute curls. Super simple and when you do it away from your face, it makes it sexy when you curl towards your face it's more like bedroom girl next door kind of cute you know flirty curls now I'm taking my mineralized skin finish powder in the color natural I believe and I'm pretty much done let me know in the comments what you guys think about this hair I think it came out amazing when you buy hair red this is what it comes out looking like anytime I've ever dyed hair red it never came out this flawless ever so definitely try out the watercolor method also I'm gonna do the trendy lime green I'm gonna do the orange I'm gonna do a ton of colors for the fall and winter time so be prepared make sure 
sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those videos also a wig sale is coming up probably this weekend if not this weekend next week so make sure you subscribe and your notifications are turned on so that you don't miss when i notify you guys about that and this is pretty much what we got i went ahead and just did some quick curls now um i did go ahead and make a center part and i used the flat iron to get it as flat as possible powder in the parting is mineralized skin finish natural in the color dark find that this is probably going to be the best i've used this before and i don't know why i stopped I so yeah i can go ahead and add a little bit of a spray here just to give it more of a salon finish but again i'm going to be done for the night i didn't add any product um, when i curled it you guys can see when you kind of let them go they kind of get a little bit bigger and make it look like i put a lot more effort into the curls than i did so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was my first time doing the watercolor definitely gonna do it a ton more because this actually gives me so much hope and so much excitement about dyeing hair because dyeing hair is a extremely tedious process and my kitchen always gets messy um, and I'm always scared of accidentally dying like walls and floors and countertops and stuff like that and this way it absolutely did not bleach or dye anything um it was very easy very quick and literally the least messiest process I've ever experienced so go ahead and check out West Kiss. I have this hair linked in the description box. You guys seen before it came in the beautiful strawberry blonde color and now it is a beautiful red like nothing happened. I didn't have to do anything but literally dump it in a pool of water and boom. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.